tuning in to Real Solutions with Anna Aquino, and I am honored to have these super fabulous <laughs> pastors in, in Marion, Ohio, in the community, and they are the new pastors at the Gathering Place, and I'm just very excited that you guys, this is a God thing, yes, um, but I, I'm really excited about it, and so I'm so blessed to introduce Rohan and Megan Anderson. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for doing this, by the no, way. No, thank you yeah. so very much. And so I always, as we were talking earlier, I want to know your story. How did God get you? I mean, I know you guys from Canada. Yes. But how, did God, <laughs> how did God get you? Because I know you've had a heart for Marion for a really long time. Yes. And as, you know, this was my hometown, even though, you know, passing through here and there, but my hometown. So how did God get you from Canada to here? Tell us your story. Well, you know, I, I first have to begin by um, when we were dating, uh, there were two requirements I told her. Requirements. Uh, not requirements. <laughs> I said two things you have to know about me. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, I love Jesus with all my heart. Amen. Uh, at the age of 18 years old, he, he got a hold of my heart Amen. and transformed me. While he was doing the work in Megon, in Montreal, here I am in Toronto, Ontario. And so we're, um, I think at your uncle's um, mm -hmm. uh, event or something like that. Took out yeah. summer. And I said to her, I'm going to love the Lord with all my heart, you know. Whether you come my life or you leave, that that's you know it's not going to change. And number two, don't be surprised if we're living in the United States of America. Wow! So you I had a just, heart for the US. Heart. Was, wow! I did. 25 yeah, years 25 ago. Years. Wow! Yeah. yeah. So that journey uh, connected us with some friends, and we were in North Carolina mm -hmm. uh, speaking at at his church, mm -hmm. and just had a real love again for this nation. And then um, he invited me to come speak at the Victory Center here in Marion. Wow. And so the journey began, it was a, probably a couple days before our anniversary, and I got permission, I said, honey, uh, you really need to be to come down. And, and that's what friends are for, you know, and she knew who he was, and he said, yeah, go ahead, because she just knew my passion, has always supported me. And the journey began, we went to Union Station, uh, where the Greyhound, or the bus was, and, um, and I didn't know the difference between being on the, the, the bus system in Toronto until you cross over to Buffalo. <laughs> And I'm thinking I'm on this one bus continuing all the way down to Columbus, Ohio, on my way to Marion, and we had to get off this bus. Yeah. And I'm like, um, I've got my suitcase. And so long story short, I have to change it 13 later. hours later. And, wow. you know, I think two or three buses we had to transfer. Um, friends met us in Columbus and brought us to Marion, and, uh, or I was in Marion. And we preached, and God just moved in a tremendous way. That's when you had revivals and you were able to go for weeks, you know, not this mm -hmm. thing we have now. And I met a family who gave me the key to their home. Wow. It was, yeah, it was God ordained. And he just said, here's the key yeah. uh, to our home. Whenever you're back in Marion, uh, you can stay at our place. So I told Megan, and I said, honey, they gave me the keys to their <laughs> house, you know. Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, we got, we got to go back. Uh, just amazing, amazing yeah. people that yeah. um, that God had established here for us, um, and so it worked out that with her work, um, she got time off work, wow. and we drove this time and came um, and met everybody. Came and met everybody, and wow. the Lord, um, 1999, He said, "Wow, that's yeah, that's where it started." Wow, yeah. that makes me mm -hmm. feel really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, so so we tell people, you know, that that. God in His in His grace mm -hmm. and in His mercy has ordained all of this. Amen. All of this. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah, here Amen. We are. Yeah, here you are. Yeah. Now yeah. you're the, the lead pastor yes. here. That yeah. is so exciting. Yeah. And you know, you have a heart. You have a heart to revival in yes. this community. Absolutely. You know, I've gone through some of the areas in this community, and I remember when I was a kid, maybe it was a little more affluent than mm -hmm. it is today, and and. I was going driving through with my grandfather not long ago, and my grandfather was talking about, you know, in the 20s, this was like, okay, this was the happen in place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, he was talking about different things that were going on and, you know, weren't you harding and all that. And I was just like, wow, yeah. what happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it, you know, and saw it. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. You know, okay, God, yeah. you know, if, if, you know, thank you, Jesus, that you are welcome here in this place right. again. Amen. You Amen. know, so what is God telling you about Marion? 
Well, I think first and foremost that he still has a heart for this yeah. city. Amen. Yeah, he definitely loves Marion. And to think that he brought us from Canada all the way here, wherever we've been, brought us right back to Marion. Like, he still has a love for Marion. He's not yeah. done. You look around and you're like, really? What's going on here? But he's not finished. And there's little, I call them glimpses of glory mm. that he does. Good little... Word things that are happening that, no, he's still here, like he's not done. And he wants just his people, again, to seek his face, and he will come and let his glory fill the land. And that's what he wants. So, yeah, he's not done with Marion at all. Amen. At all. And I think one of the things I learned from John Maxwell, he says, I'm not here to reinvent the light bulb. May God have brought it out here because we have this grand idea that's going to revolutionize Marion. God's already at work with so many other leaders in this community. Yeah. We just want to partner with them and say, hey, we're going to come alongside of you mm -hmm. to increase the wattage, not to mm -hmm. reinvent the light bulb or anything like mm -hmm. that, because God's already at work. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when people come to do a work, what they do is they try to say, well, here is the vision, as opposed to saying, God, what are you doing? Amen. And how can we partner Thank with what's God. happening? So we can't take any credit. There's been uh, generations before us mm -hmm. who have labored uh, to get us to where we are. So we're just recipients of, of, of their work. Right. Um, and even how we got to uh, Marion, uh, we cannot forget those who have supported us, churches yeah. that we've been to before, and we labored alongside of them. They helped us to get to where we are, mm -hmm. you know, and so we, we appreciate that. So it wasn't just us doing all the things. There were people who were, yeah. or, or still praying for us, but believed in us. Uh, great friends we have at churches that we have the privilege Amen. of serving and being a part of. And it just so happened, God says, now is the time. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Yeah. So I want to hear some testimonies. <laughs> Give me some testimonies. Because we want to hear people, real people, real stories. Wow. Wow. What? Gosh. <laughs> you know, you say that and then like, boop, there they go. <laughs> um, but he, for me, God's testimony in my life is that he's been faithful. That's right. Um, even when I'm faithless, he remains faithful. So even looking at the course of being born in Jamaica, moving to Montreal, moving to Toronto, moving to Ohio, moving back to Toronto, coming back to Ohio, moving to like he's been faithful every step of the way. There are times where it's like um, when we first came back across the border in 2006, and. Uh, you know, all gun ho, yay, we're going back to America. <laughs> and uh, we came, and it's like, what, what did we just do? Mm -hmm. um, what did we just do? Like, we just left home, mm -hmm. and we came back to America, and it's like, okay, God, did we miss you? Right. You know, sometimes where God's like, oh, this is the plan, or this is the purpose that I have for you, and doors open, so you go forward, and you think, yeah. This is it, and then you go, and it's like, oh my gosh, like this is God's purpose. But everything that happens in our life brings it so that God's purpose can be fulfilled. Amen. And even being here at the gathering place, it's part of the purposes of God that He's doing in our life. So for me, it's His faithfulness. Amen. And to mark one thing, you now throughout my whole life, Amen. He has been faithful in Amen. every area with my children, with my husband. Um, in anything I do, his faithfulness is what carries me through. So even to be sitting here today talking with you is God's faithfulness carries me. So that that's my testimony is his faithfulness. Not my faithfulness, but his faithfulness. Absolutely. To me. Yeah. And I think, you know, where we are in America right now, um, you know, we're such a crossroads. Marion Absolutely. is such a grassroots community, mm -hmm. and um, there is an attack on the family. I'm mm -hmm. just going to go go for it here. <laughs> there is an attack on the family. There's an attack on the grassroots of America, yeah. the foundation of what America has been. This is where you're going to get yeah. me to start to preach. I'm yeah. sorry. It's going to happen. <laughs> um, because, you know, we need God in America. Yeah. We need God in those grassroots yeah. communities. We need God in the cities, too. But, it, you know, the attack is happening everywhere yeah. and and I think that how awesome is it that God has uniquely placed the two of you in a community that needs you yeah. Yeah. that needs you yeah. that needs that 
You know, you're going to stand for righteousness sake. Mm -hmm. You're going to stand for God being placed and has a plan mm -hmm. and a purpose right. that there's, he is the cornerstone yeah. in Absolutely. this community. Yeah. Absolutely. And not going to bend and bow to that. You know, right. You're not going to be a wishy-washy, seeker-friendly no. right. church. No. No. no, you're going to be, this is what Bob says, yeah. this is what Bob right. says. Yeah. I can't well, change what, what Bob says. Need. Yeah. They do See, need that. people are looking for the truth. And what we're going to find is people who are trying these other methods, are going to say, hey, you know what? It's not working. Right. And so we're positioning ourselves for that harvest of people coming in uh, because God's truth and his word never changes. That's right. And so really, plant or, or leading the church is not difficult. I think working with people is difficult. But doing God's work is, is not difficult at all when you understand that, you know what, God? You get all the glory. That's right. And you desire to be glorified in this area. And so, from that perspective, we are looking for those testimonies of, of transformed lives. And, and people are going to be saying, you know what, God is real. Our Easter service, I, I was sharing that we have a lot of people who are conflicted based on what they have experienced versus an encounter with God. Mm -hmm. And just like Thomas, here he was, a disciple of Jesus. And, and we have to give Thomas credit because he was the one... When they said, let's go to Jerusalem, they're about, you're about to get killed. Mm -hmm. Thomas said, well, let's go then. If we're going to die, let, let's all go. And so here's Thomas now, and I believe that this is where America is, in the sense of where I know what I've experienced over these last decade or two decades. But I know about this encounter that our forefathers went through. And so we're conflicted. Are we going to totally lean over this way, or are we going to get back to what God is doing? And I believe the churches that are poised and prepared for an encounter with God Amen. are going to see a great amount of people coming in and just testimonies are just going to take place. Just like miracles happen in other nations, yeah. we're going to start seeing that happen and manifest Amen. for those who Amen. are open to what God is doing and have a desire to see God move in the hearts of everyone. Mm -hmm. And so being parents of, of, of two mm -hmm. uh, girls, uh, and, you know, I'm very protective of my girls. I look at the culture that they're growing up in. And I have to make sure the seed of God's values are placed in them. Yep. And I say, Danny, Lizzie, you must have an encounter with God's presence. Mm -hmm. It's not about the programs anymore. Right. It's about God's presence. Mm -hmm. And you're going to start seeing churches that are starting to blossom and bloom. They finally realize, you know what? It's not about the children's ministry. It's not about this ministry. It's about are we encountering God's presence. Mm -hmm. And I'm just what God wants to do here in Mary. And there are leaders who have been crying out, mm -hmm. saying, yeah. God... Fill Mary with your glory. Amen. And we just want to join with their voice Amen. and just make it loud Amen. so the enemy can know, hey, yeah. we are committed Amen. to see God move yes. uh, in, in, in Mary. And so, um, you know, that's what excites us. And, and we're just, we're having fun. We talk about we're having so much fun. <laughs> You should this. Be the you yeah. should. I mean, this is yeah. amazing. We get to lead some amazing people yeah. on this journey to encounter God. That's right. I mean, man, it's one thing to run for President of the United States, but to be used <laughs> by God to lead his people, yeah, yeah I think I'd rather choose that. Oh, than, amen. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'd rather choose amen. God's house in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, I'd, now. Rather, I'd rather have that, you know. All of you who are watching, I want to encourage you, just take a moment to encourage you that if you are not in a church home, Find a church home that Absolutely. will not compromise, Absolutely. that will continue to push you forward in the things of God. Absolutely. If you are in the community in Marion, Ohio, and you don't have a church home, I know the gathering place is a great place for you. We yeah. welcome you. Yeah. And Absolutely. You need to get where God has you planted, stay planted, and you will blossom. Yeah. So I want you all to remember that God has awesome plans for your life, so you get excited. Thanks for watching.